Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game. We have a review of Ice Cool by Brain Games. So, what is it? Well, let's take a look at the box here. We have a lot of white and a penguin on a semi sphere. So, um. You, your clue is as good as mine from that, really. Uh, what the game actually is, is it's about penguins in this penguin school here that is made up of ice. And they're skipping class in order to steal these tasty little fish that have found themselves on top of the walls of this school. And in the instruction manual, there is a little comic here that explains it all, so it makes perfect sense. <laughs> What the game actually is, is a dexterity game. You see, you are these little penguins, and you're flicking them around in order to get through doorways in order to claim fish. Or, if you are the hall monitor, you're trying to catch the other penguins by hitting them. So, that's how the game works. If you want to see more detail on that, then do check out my previous video on how to play the game. So, what do I think of the game, then? Well, let's start with the artwork. Um, I mean, I love the cover. It's very basic, and it doesn't really tell you what the game is, but it's got that cute penguin on, and that carries out throughout the artwork. You've got these little ID cards, and again, you know, it's the cute penguin pictures on there, the same as you have on your character reminder cards here. The fish is cutesy. It's fine. It's It does the job. The board itself, is really interesting. They've made all the different rooms look different. The whole feel is of this ice, but combined with a school a kid would know. I really like it. They've done a great job on the artwork, in my opinion. Well, what about the components? The first thing we have to talk about with components, really, has to be the box. I mean, it's not normally something you would make a big deal about component-wise, but in this case, the box is the board. It is the game. Without the box, there would be no game. And it's incredibly innovative, the way it all stacks together, the way it then uses the fish, which are then also a component within the game for doing scoring and what you're trying to achieve in the game. It's fantastic. I love it. It's really nice, really well put together. The rest of the components, well, the little diddy cards, the backgrounds are a bit dull. The actual quality of the cards is really high. Um, they're really nice, linen finish, superb cards. I cannot fault them. What about the wooden components? The wooden fish are absolutely gorgeous. They're crisp cut, bright, vibrant colours. Lovely. I'm not so keen on the natural ones. Um, but that's just a taste thing, they still work, they're still really nicely cut. Then the penguins. Now they're this hard plastic, which I'm not too keen on. The details on them come out quite nicely though, they do look really nice and cute. They do the job really nicely. The way they're put together to do the weighting works very well, they kind of wobble back and forth. You flick them, they're unpredictable. Well. They're meant to be predictable, let's just put it that way. But when I play this game, they're unpredictable. Because you're meant to be able to just hit it straight on, and it goes straight on, hit it to the side, and it'll roll off to the other side, type thing, and uh, it, like hit the head and it'll jump. I, I can't do any of that. I, I kind of hit it and it does what it wants to do, um, frankly. Um, that kind of takes us into the gameplay, and my problem, biggest problem really with this game. It's just that I'm bad at it. It's not that it's a bad game. I think it's a very good game. I I quite have, I have quite enjoyed it, having never got close to winning a single game. I tend not to even be able to get through a doorway once. I'm really, really bad at this. I cannot stress how bad I am. I've had loads of practice, I've played loads of games, and I just can't seem to get the hang of it. Now, I've always had bad hand-eye coordination, and that does mean these kind of dexterity, actual physical games, I do tend to be bad with, and it does tend to mean I enjoy them less, because I feel like I have no hope of actually competing with the other players. But take that out of the equation, what else have you got in that gameplay? You've got the point cards, 
And unfortunately, they've done a really nice thing with the one point cards that if you get too many of those to counteract that you're just getting one point cards, you can reveal them and have an extra turn. But unfortunately, the difference between a three point card and a one point card is too high. You know, someone can win a game because they just get three point cards and you're there going, another one point card. Oh, I get another go, but that didn't help me get any more points. So. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a shame, but it's such a quick game that it doesn't really matter. You know, you're going to play a game of this in half an hour. So, of course, can two play this game? The two-player variant works perfectly fine. I would say the more players you have in this, the more interesting it is, because you might be hitting each other, etc. Um, but, no, the two-player game works perfectly fine. Very much an enjoyable experience, the same as the other. You just have an extra turn as the catcher. Uh, very good game. So, in summary, Ice Cool, very innovative, very interesting dexterity game. It's approachable to all ages, it's got beautiful artwork, fantastic components. It is a fantastic game, but I don't like it. And um, that's just because I'm bad at it. So, it's definitely one I would recommend you try rather than rush out and buy. Okay, I do hope that you found this video useful, and of course if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And do also take a look at us on social media, you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.